Hey everyone, I'm Scott, and today I want to talk to you about science. Now, if you're a person of faith, when you hear the word science, it might be a little intimidating to you. And that's because maybe you've had a science professor or a high school science teacher who told you that science has disproven God, or that you can't be a rational, smart person and still be a person of faith. Well, I hope you know that's not true. I want to show you today that that's not true. What I want to show you is that really good science can actually lead you right back to God. And I want to do that by talking about something called string theory. Let's go back to your high school physics class. In that class, you were taught that everything in the universe is made up of atoms and that those atoms are made up of protons and neutrons, and that those protons and neutrons are made up of little tiny things called quarks, and that's where your science textbook ended. It, it couldn't explain what's behind a quark. But there are a few theories out there, and probably the most prominent theory is called string theory or super string theory. And string theory is trying to explain what is it behind quarks? What is the true building blocks of the universe? What is the microscopic, microscopic world that we can't see but is out there and shapes our entire existence and shapes our entire reality? And string theory says that there are little vibrating bands of energy that are the building blocks of the universe. In fact, these little vibrating bands of energy actually look like little dancing strings. And that's really, if you see pictures of string theory, it's these little dancing strings that are super microscopic, smaller than quarks, and these are the true building blocks of our universe. And what, what uh, string theorists like Brian Greene, who has a great TED Talk, if you are interested in learning more about string theory, you should go check out his TED Talk. It's excellent. Uh, but what string theorists like Brian Greene would say is that these this, these uh, little bands of energy, this makes up um, the building blocks of our universe. And what's really interesting is that these little bands of energy, they don't exist in our three-dimensional world. Uh, they don't exist in the world, just the three dimensions that we experience and, and also the fourth dimension of time. But these uh, bands of energy, they exist in a universe of 10 or 11 dimensions. And so what string theorists would say is actually our universe is a universe of 10 dimensions or 11 dimensions or maybe even more dimensions. And so string theorists are trying to explain the universe by showing that actually science says our universe might be a lot more surprising and a lot more complex than we have ever imagined. But really what super string theorists and string theorists are trying to do is they're trying to answer, they're trying to explain the 20 numbers that rule the world. You may not be aware of this, but there are 20, about 20 very specific numbers in the universe that in some sense hold our universe together. Brian Greene talks about this in his TED Talk. These are numbers like the mass of particles, like electrons and neutrons, or the strength of gravity, or the electromagnetic force. These are very specific numbers. These are numbers that can be measured to a very specific degree. And just any little alteration on these numbers would change the very fabric of the universe. If neutrons were a slightly different size, uh, the universe itself would unravel and would cease to exist as we know it. And so scientists have wondered for, for years, well, where do these numbers come from? How, how did these numbers come into existence? Why these numbers? Why these values? Another physicist, Michio Kaku, uh, he says that the, the entire equations that explain physics can fit on a single sheet of paper. I mean, isn't that remarkable? As complex as our universe is, as big as our universe is, as complex as things like the human body are, the equations of physics fit on one single sheet of paper. I mean, it makes us think, where did these equations come from? Where did these numbers come from? And that's where faith comes back in to meet science. I find it really fascinating that there are 20, maybe 24 numbers that are very specific and so specific that if they were altered a little bit, the universe would cease to exist. Now, what explains those numbers? Well, some people might say, well, it was just random chance. We just happened to get lucky enough that all 20 numbers hit. This is like the greatest lottery luck ever. All 20 of our numbers hit, and therefore the universe we live in works. That's one answer, but that is highly, highly, highly improbable. So other people, string theorists, uh, some string theorists will say, well, we live in a universe actually of multiple universes, and there's like almost an infinite amount of universes, uh, and we just happen to live in the one where all 20 numbers hit. And I, again, I would just say that 
to me, that doesn't seem very likely that we just happen to live in a world of multiple, uh, infinite, multiple universes, and we exist in the one that worked out the right way. I think probably the best explanation and the best answer is that we live in a very finely tuned universe that was finely tuned by a personal force, what I would call God. In fact, that's what Professor Kaku says. That's his conclusion. Take a look. To me, it is clear that we exist in a plan which is governed by rules that were created, shaped by a universal intelligence and not by chance. This is fascinating. He's saying, look, when I look at the world, when I look at the universe as a physicist, what it tells me is that there is someone, something out there that is, has created all of this, that has set this all up, that it's too complex, it's too finely tuned, it's too mathematically aligned and true for this just all to happen by chance. There is a creator out there. There is what we would call God. And I think it's just so fascinating that the science of string theory, I think that the science of string theory, even if it doesn't all hold true completely, that the science of string theory points us back to God. And really that, that, that science, as science continues to develop and it continues, we continue to learn all these new things about the universe and how it works and the fact that there might be different dimensions out there, that this doesn't tell us that the Bible's untrue. It doesn't tell us that God doesn't exist, but instead it opens the door for all kinds of possibilities. I mean, think about miracles for, for, for example. I mean, in a world of three dimensions, in a world where time is very closed, in a world where we can't get our minds around eternity, things like miracles seem almost like nonsense or supernatural beings like angels. But in a world of multiple dimensions that we have no idea how those dimensions work and how those dimensions relate to one another and how those dimensions relate to our dimensions, well, things like miracles, things like supernatural beings, all these realities, life after death, they can, we can look at that in new and fresh and powerful ways. And so I think it's really true that good science, true science brings us back to God. And some of the most amazing, uh, unbelievable breakthroughs in science and in physics and in, um, in all these fields of study aren't disproving God, but instead they're, they're maybe showing us how really what was written in the Bible thousands of years ago might be really true in ways that we never ever imagined. Hey everyone, thanks for checking out this video. I hope it encouraged you if you're a person of faith that's trying to understand science and to see how science interacts with God and interacts with the Bible and interacts with religion. If you have any other questions or comments, you can put those in the comments section down below. Um, or if you can think of other ways or other breakthroughs in science or uh, other scientific theories that excite you for possibilities to explain uh, you know, how we can understand God or how we can understand the supernatural, I'd be curious to know what you think. Also, if you're new to our channel, thanks for checking it out. We've got videos on a whole host of issues of faith, not all just about science. Um, but if you're new, thanks for checking us out. Please subscribe to our channel. We have new videos that come out every week. And uh, again, thanks for being here.